so that screws into the mountain quite nicely. Turn the bar around and all I want is a little bit of thread on the other end so I can start a, a winglet on it and then I'll weld it on. It's probably enough. This thing looks actually met right for it a little bit. No, no, it's, I just want a small a little weld on there, just put all the end of that together and that'll do that'll do for us. We must take the coating off before we try and weld it, the galvanizing. Put a slot in here. This is going to be one of the arms that's welded onto the J clamp, just so I've got movement to slide the camera in and out, so it's adjustable. That wing bolt now screws into there and this will mount onto probably another nut in the wing bolt through that slot which will be welded onto the J clamp so it means I've got numerous possibilities to mount it basically any way I want of course this ball in goes through quite a range of movement. I've been having a bit more think about this camera mount. What I found is if I leave the spacer tubes out of that rubber when I tighten the 
whole head onto the rubber mountain. The more I tighten that, the stiffer this becomes, which is ideal, which means I can adjust how much preload I put on it. I also found some nice little dome head bolts with a square in that are a good fit in that slot. So I can go into there, a wing nut, and a washer on the bottom. And I've got a nice plenty of adjustment that way. And once again, I can tighten that and stiffen the mountain up. If I find this is not stiff enough, I'll fill the centre with like a RTV silicon, which will make it a lot more solid, but it actually feels quite nice. I've also bought a, a fringe G clamp, which is better than the, the four inch one. It's big enough for what I need, but not too big. So I think what I'll do is I'll mill a slot in there as well to take another one of those bolts then drill a hole in the end of there and then I'm going to have a real big range of articulation where I can mount it articulation is it? Right, this clamp is unbelievably horrible but when you consider what I paid for it's not really that bad all I want to do is machine the central area of that flat and put a, a slot down the centre I've got it held in a big pin vise and also clamped on that end with an engineer's jack in the centre I don't even know what it's made of, I would assume it's cast steel Here's steel so it can stay in, that's a good start. camera direct onto the milling table. Uh, I've got a macro lens on it. I'll do a real close up with that drill. Normally if a camera touches the milling table when it's running you get lots of vibration. And you will start the camera up, start the mill up, drill the hole and then I'll see what sort of bring the video back. I'm looking from the viewfinder here and it looks, it looks really good. I don't have the pile of wood in there really. I'll try out the milling cutter in, just out of the interest, just to see because there'll be more vibration with the milling cutter. Both cameras are running. That's the bearing ring up. Machinery of this morning. All you need to do is take probably 20 thou off there so there's enough clearance for that to push into the housing and push the bearing in. You can see the well there. You weld it up and the well, the well cools it, shrinks and the bearing drops, basically drops out the housing. That's the tool I'm going to use. That chip, the tool's actually got a little chip out the end of it. I'm still going to use it. I'm not going to. I don't want to waste a good tool machine on that. That's 
it and get the camera in nice and close. It's not very nice but it is possible to machine it. It's actually doing that tip, but all I wanted to do was reduce the diameter so I can use it to press the bearing in. Button update on Debs. Debs actually she's not well today, she's full of cold. Apart from the cold, she's alright. My dad's doing alright. He's got himself no routine now and he's just waiting to go into the hospital to, to be sorted out. So things are looking not too bad health wise. Well, at that time of year again where it's almost Christmas or Whatever religion are you are, what do you want to call it? I'm not religious. In any way, this year has been a strange year for us. Um, last Christmas was strange because that's when Deb was diagnosed with her breast cancer. And we really didn't think she was going to be here this Christmas, but it is. And she's going to be here for a lot more. So I'm just going to wish us all a Merry Christmas and a happy, prosperous new year. For that bastard all day. Hi, my name's George. The daft twat just turned the wrong handle. Bollocks. Bollocks. What a bastard. You clumsy twat, George.